Hey Pit Masters, what's up? Today we're making the hottest steak in the world. That's right, this is a hot steak and I don't mean just searing hot, it's going to be spicy, it's going to be burning hot. Me and Marshall are going to do a challenge. <sighs> I, yeah, you're going to be in this. Marshall is my pepper head. He uh, did the scorpion powder test. Was it hot Marshall? Oh well, that's, uh, that's, that's underrated even. It was hot, it was crazy hot. We're going to do a steak, it's going to be hot. We're going to create a beautiful steak rub for it. Spicy steak rub. Here we go. I'm going to start with one part salt. I'm using fleur de sel. To that we'll add one part of ground black pepper. Instead of paprika powder, we're going to be using half a part of chipotle chili powder. One eighth part of garlic powder. One eighth part of onion powder. One fourth part of fresh ground green pepper. One eighth part of nutmeg. <sighs> Now it's time for the Trinidad Scorpion. Trinidad Scorpion powder is so crazy hot. You, you don't want it it's in your eye. You don't want it anywhere. You don't want it. If police would use this for their pepper spray, you would instantly die. Um, the big question is how much are we gonna put in here, Martian? Do whatever you like. Do whatever I like? Yeah. You have to taste it as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the first one to taste it, but I'm a bit scared. So we'll put in one eighth part to any that scorpion powder. All right. Now we're going to mix this up and we're going to find out how hot this actually is. I already regret coming up with this idea. It looks really, really hot. Taste test time, Morrison. Here we go. That's really hot. It's not, it's not stupid hot, but it's definitely really hot. Ooh, it's a good hot, it's gonna be a good hot steak. Now Morrison, you have to try. Really? Not afterwards? No, because then the heat will die down once we cook the steak. It's not gonna be nowhere as hot as trying the rub. There we go again. <laughs> is this enough? Uh, is it's, this okay? it's, it's definitely enough. Yeah? Definitely. Definitely. What does that mean? That's enough. Hmm. 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 <laughs> you are thinking, hey, this tastes really good. And then you're like, there it is. It's like a thousand bees hitting your hitting your mouth. Oh, when you take a oh. Don't breathe. You know, when you breathe, it's only getting worse. <laughs> yeah, don't breathe through your mouth. The big question is, Martin, will Denise write? What do you say, Denise? Do it for the notification squad. Sorry guys, I tried. Okay. Yes? She said okay. Yes. You know, by eating hot stuff, you train it. This is something that you develop. Like that? Oh yeah, that's more than enough for you. <laughs> I don't wanna. It's not that bad, it's okay. Morrison survived, I survived. Yeah. Don't sniff it. Yeah. Don't sniff it. Whatever <laughs> you do, don't sniff it. Nah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Just pull through. It just lasts a minute or three, five, ten. <laughs> it was this much. I don't want it on my steak. <laughs> I don't want it. I want to go home. Come on, let's cook some steaks. We've got this beautiful 120 days grain fed Black Angus New York strips. These steaks come from our strip loin roast. First thing that I'm gonna do is put on a little bit of olive oil, rub in both sides, and now we're gonna sprinkle on our rub. A good suggestion is to use gloves while putting on this rub. You don't want this in your eye, in your nostrils, or wherever you put your fingers. We're going to do the same for both sides. Our steaks are ready to go on the grill. It's time to fire up a barbecue. And in this case, we're gonna be using our Napoleon Rogue. This thing is an absolute beauty and look at it. It's so super clean. Never been on before. It's still virgin. I'm going to turn on the left two burners. By doing that, we're creating a direct side and an indirect side. And we're going to place our steaks over the indirect side because we're going to be cooking them reverse sear. We're going to be cooking them at a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. I'm waiting for the exact moment for our steaks to hit 54 degrees Celsius. And 
we're almost there. And the last few degrees of Celsius might hit you by surprise. So at this point, I wanna keep my eye on the steaks. And this is really important. Stick around your grill, keep an eye on your steaks. We are at exactly 54 degrees dot zero Celsius. So time to take our steaks off and let them rest. Yes, you heard it right, let them rest. I'm quickly gonna clean my grill grate with a paper towel just to make sure that all the heat and the spices are gone because if we're cooking a next recipe, I don't want that Trinidad Scorpion to ruin it. Trinidad Scorpion, keep it clean. While our steaks are resting, we're gonna fire up our sizzle zone and let it come up to temperature. Turn on the gas, let it flow for five seconds, then turn on the ignition. Our steaks are sufficiently rested. Our sizzle zone is hot. It's time to put our steak on the sizzle zone and get some beautiful sear marks. Whoa. We're only gonna need a few minutes. We don't want the rub to burn too much. I'm going to flip the steak. Look at that beautiful sear mark. We got a little bit of caramelization. Some of that fat has been rendering down. It's time to call the Jack Daniels Fire Department. I'm using the Jack Daniels Fire, finally crafted. This thing provides us with a beautiful cinnamon flavor. Look at that beautiful steak. We seared it off nicely. We got a lot of flavor from cinnamon. The nutmeg is in the rub. We got our super hot spices on there. This thing is ready to get sliced up. Now it's time to start searing off our second steak. This stuff has a great cinnamon flavor and it gives us a little bit of that autumn winter experience. Nutmeg, cinnamon, works really, really well together. The only problem is we flushed off a little bit of the rub. So I'm gonna put some fresh rub on the steak that we already cooked, just to make sure that it's still the hottest steak in the world. Now it's time to start slicing into our steak and take a look on the inside. I wanna slice them a little thicker than normal. That way the rub doesn't hurt my mouth like it otherwise would. Our steak is beautifully tender. A nice crust on the outside, perfectly cooked. This thing is a treat. I'm gonna try our steak. It's ready, it's juicy, it's delicious. It's calling me, coming a little closer. Try to eat me. And then probably she's gonna hurt me. But hey, it's all worth it. The hottest steak in the world. There we go. And this would be great flavor. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> oh, ah, it's painful, but it tastes so good. Denise, can you get me some water? Oh, oh, it fell on the floor. I can't eat it anymore. Uh, <laughs> I can <could laughs> see, this is odd. I'm trained on eating hot food. I eat a lot of hot food. This is seriously hot. I know water doesn't help, but hey, it's a, it's a mental relief. This is seriously hot, Martian. But I want, I want another piece because it tastes good. It's so painful. Our Trinidad Scorpion steak, the hardest steak in the world. Definitely good stuff. It already starts to become feel normal in my mouth. I got a constant heat now and it doesn't get any worse. So. From this point on, I can start, continue to eat and enjoy the flavors. Oh God, I was wrong. More heat. Oh, there's something about that heat. I just love it. Mm. You want to try it, Morrison? You want to try some too, Denise? No. <laughs> All right, there we go. It looks pretty good. It is really good. It tastes fantastic. You gotta describe what it, what it tastes like. Otherwise people don't get it. Like that. And bang. <laughs> but it's also really nice. And it's sweet. It's sweet. And it's a good steak. But it's a good steak, right? I'm glad we got two. I like it though. It's good, right? Oh no, I can't breathe. You're fine, you're fine. No. We'll call the ambulance later. <laughs> Besides the, the pain, like the really intense pain. This is one of the better rubs you made for a steak. <laughs> <laughs> kind of want another piece, but I kind of Just don't. take it, take it, do it, go for it. I'm <sighs> gonna take another one as well. Before I bite into it, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys feel our pain. 
and I hope you guys are gonna give this a try. Don't please don't try it with little children or be unsafe with the hot stuff that we put in here because if you get this in your eye in the wrong spot, it's gonna hurt you and you wanna prevent that. Maybe have a glass of milk on the side, maybe some kupuk, just to take the, the pain and the heat away. But man, definitely give this a try. Big thank you to all of our patrons, YouTube members, and our notification squad. You guys freaking rock. Uh, hopefully we'll make it to the next video. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk. And keep on grilling. Grilling, yeah. <sighs> Come on, one more. You can do it. Let's go take a little extra. Mm -hmm. No. No. It becomes better. You just keep on eating. I'm just really hungry. Mm -hmm. But did you die? <sighs> <Yeah>. <sighs>